All right, back on with my water. I swear I always forget something. And like I said, this is almost, it's very, to me, like neurographic. Um, calming to sit and color these circles. And the way I started it out, I, I'm not pre-wetting the paper. Um, I did, I think I just kind of, I started out doing some big circles and we're going to layer so they don't have to be um, perfect at this point. I'm just kind of blocking in around where this um, circle comes in in the middle. There we go. And we're going to be coming over some of this with some black. So I don't, I didn't really vary my sizes in here. And I do want to slow down a little and make these round, at least on the inside. There we go. And like this. And try to get my yellow line all disappeared in here. My yellow, my yellow, um, I just used a water pencil and it'll disappear. I actually kind of like the little yellow touch it's adding in there. Now, I wanna not be too sloppy and make these weird little spots here. But we're gonna go around. And again, like I said, this is without me talking. You could turn my voice down and just follow along or I may put some music on, I'm not sure. I just go in with these big, big circles not big and small, you can vary. Big and small here. And now I'm gonna stop there because I'm gonna plunk some black ones in while this inner part is drying uh, so that I don't have to wait in between. Uh, when I did the practice one, I think I just kind of, um, I let it dry in between layers um, and no, this brush isn't too big. And I don't care if they're perfect circles. I'm just, this is also kind of an exercise in working on your circles, uh, which can be very difficult. So it's relaxing and it's also kind of some fine motor skills back in here with this and I do all different sizes of circles now I could if I weren't filming I would probably turn this around turn the, the paper around and work like that and again there's no um, the circles look nice together regardless of you know, big, small, how you pattern them because you're you're throwing in so many different, I mean, you only have two or three colors, but the sizes vary. So there's a cohesiveness in it that looks nice. There we go. We'll add maybe a tiny one here. I don't want the black running into the orange. So I'm working on the perimeter and just, you can hear the crickets in the background. It makes me a little sad the crickets are, are so loud now, and I know that is the end of summer, beginning of fall, which I love, but um, the crickets have been extra loud. And let's see. This is not too wet. I'm gonna throw some tiny, tiny black circles in here and you can if you want to switch to a smaller brush I have a much smaller brush here let's see going back and forth between my Princeton's and my etchers I like both of them I was surprised to find them I had ordered the etcher lab 
brushes along with some uh, sketchbooks. And I actually really enjoy their brushes. Yeah, so making a smaller circle with a smaller brush is a little easier. And we're just gonna dot in in some different spots, some tiny circles. I've actually really been getting into the neurographic art lately. It's a lot of fun and it's very relaxing. And it actually, I've been surprised to wind up with things, uh, finished paintings that I actually like. <laughs> there goes ah, my, get to hear the wonderful noise of my generator for the next 10 minutes. Oh, I'm going to probably have to, I shouldn't have done that in the same spot. Try not to do copycat shapes everywhere. So I've had this one, that one, I'm going to really try to vary. Maybe make this one a little bigger. But you just want, you want to have it be as much of a circle, there you go. So you don't have to go back in and, and fix the perimeter of any of these. You can go back in and darken them. Let's see, do, do, do. maybe do, uh, try not to equally space those. Let's, it's funny, your, your brain, you know, works in these it's so easy when you start doing something to have it be a pattern and you don't want that with this. You don't want exact duplicates in each quadrant or else it looks really contrived. So it can be really hard to intentionally not make patterns with your um, shapes, you know, to vary it, but have it look nice together. And part of that is if you have a limited palette, uh, not a crazy riot of colors, you're gonna add some cohesiveness with that. But, I was really happy with the way the first one I painted turned out. We'll see if I like the second one. Um, and you could use, you could also use any color. You don't have to, this doesn't have to be a Halloween type thing. This can be um, any color. You know, two or three different blues or blue and magenta or Three different colors. Maybe some fall colors. I don't know. I just thought that this was kind of festive. It was a nice kind of festive fall Halloween wreath that is easy. And, you know, if you have trouble with your hands, which I am starting to. I've got trigger thumb that I probably need to get fixed. You could use little stamps to do this as well. Or if you're doing it with your grandkids, you could use, you know, so that they could do it. They have those circle stamps that are great. That's not, that's kind of an oval. Let's see if I can round that one out. And then just keep adding circles to your heart's content. Now I'm gonna take a break from the black, go back in with my small brush, bring out some orange. And I like this background. Um, it was just more of a guide than anything. So I go back in 
and leave I will leave some of the light orange showing through it's a nice little backdrop for it for your it's like um a Christmas ball wreath almost uh, you know the shiny shiny balls that you put on a Christmas tree this one I'm gonna let it cut off into there and let's do bury your small and your large let's see let those I'm gonna let the black ones dry a little more before I bump into them otherwise I'm gonna have a lot of color bleed that I don't necessarily want let's see like right here <laughs> and we'll do some overlap um, with them as we proceed with We're also going to add like a gold, a nice fall gold and a silvery gold in here. So you don't need to fill every single spot of um, blank space. And you just, to the relaxing sounds of my generator, Continue layering in large and small. Let's see. Circles. And some of these big circles, I like to do a few extra big circles because they will become pumpkins. Um, you can draw, I have my little liner pen to draw pumpkin faces on those. And I do want to get the center of this. perimeter filled in with darker color and now this other orange one we can go right over that because they're the same color so if there is some color bleed you're not going to notice it as much there we go Want them to be not the exact same sizes, but I'm gonna go over that black. It's not running a lot, so seems to be a good time to start overlaying these. Because you don't want all the edges kissing, you know, just mating. It's good to Kind of lay over. Oh, I actually like the little black swirl that you get in there. That might be, it's not bad letting, letting them bleed into each other a little bit. Because I did add also some black um, design, little stripes and little, now this is not round. I'll fix that. Do you find that your circles grow? <laughs> like they get bigger and bigger. All right, let's see. I'm missing a lot. There's a lot of empty space up here. And.
is one in here. And you just keep layering. Fill in some of this back space. Let's see. And up here. Let's bring that down. It's very challenging to make a pleasing circle. If you want, you can drop more color in. And let's see, that circle is kind of flat, so I'm gonna, if you see like mistakes in your circles, I'm gonna go right over that. Let it kind of darken that, that looks nice. I actually like the mix of the, the black and the uh, orange, kind of Darken the orange up just a little. There we go. And a big orange one here. And a small here. So again, it's just very um, kind of relaxing. Pick your different spots. Drop your circles. It's looking a little um, dented in at that. It's not, not a nice little circle we have going here, here either. Let's bring this down. Kind of sit back. Take a look at is my wreath round it's pretty round this is a little short over here probably because i'm trying not to actively reach over while i'm painting and maybe we'll do one here layer some nice gold over it i must have disney world on the brain there let's see fill in a few of these spots and let's see, maybe a little more orange over here. Uh, bring this in. Ooh, now that's gonna be a big circle because I kind of messed up the shape in the beginning. Going too, too many directions there. Okay, there we go. And circle this off. There we go. And let's see. Maybe I'll save that spot for some gold. Put another orange in here. Now at this point, oh, I like the swirl. Kind of sit back and analyze it. Because we're, we are going to go over this too with a little more black and a little more gold. Let's just do some real quick. Keep my circle shapes going here. Get some with a little black swirl. Um, I like those. Maybe I'll just come in with a tiny circle there all right i'm liking that overall shape uh, uh let's see now i want to come in with a little more black not a lot the black can be a little a little more overpowering but let's see Go like this, put a little, oh, I'll pro 
problem with that is that's like right in a line. I don't like the one, two, three right here. Put a gold one there maybe. A little bit of black missing down here. Let's go like this. And maybe a little, maybe one overlapping here. And maybe make this one a little bigger. All right, and maybe Got them all around here. We're missing. We want. Don't want big um, empty spots where the other color is totally dominating. Let's see. We're kind of missing a little black over here. And then maybe fill in some of these got a little faded. Fix this one. Okay, oops. Made that, now it's gonna get bigger all the way around. Can't really fix a circle just on one side. And let's see, maybe a little one over here. Hopefully this isn't too long. Um, oh, I'm trying not to smudge anything. I'm gonna do a little tiny one here. And this one, is that it? Maybe a few little tiny ones here tiny over here add kind of a nice little third size um, now I forgot to put I had a a bow on the other one maybe I'll put that in at this point because I actually did like it. Let's see. That was like black and white. I think I did it with a pen. All right now I'm just going to Like this let's see maybe I will this is where you can see or I can feel that the paper is not like my arches or arch, however they say it. And I'm just gonna fill this in. Let's see. We're gonna do a nice black bow on the top of here. Maybe I'll go in and do some gold. on top of it, let's see. 
and try to get this in before these lines dry. Although it's the direction of the bow, so it doesn't really matter. Even leave a little white space in there. I probably wouldn't have done. It's like it's sitting on this little, it almost looks like a mosquito with this black ball right there, but that's okay. Um, maybe I will go over that and make it like a gold. So let's put some darkness in where the, um, the curves of the bow are. That's here at the bottom. Just going to pull that out this way. There we go. And let's bring this. Bring this out this way. And then also much darker under here. Putting that over uh, before I put the gold in because the gold would probably show through this a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna leave that little bow like that. How should I make the other side? Let's see. and go like this there we go all right. And here, oh good, my uh, generator went off. That's good. All right, there's a funky little bow. And now we're gonna come in with, I'm gonna leave the little areas of light um, orange showing through. It's the same color, it's just a little less um, saturated. And then we're gonna come in, are we still recording? Yes, we are. We're gonna come in, everything's pretty dry, except I have a big bead of water on there. Let's bring in some gold sparkles. Those are so pretty. I love these. I've been playing around with these paints and they're awful pretty. Okay, and you can just go over. You wanna go over your previous and you wanna get a good amount of water and a good amount of um, pigment on with these because they're while they're shiny and beautiful, they're also a little bit, you know, it, it's transparent in between, in between the little sparkly crystals that are in here. And I don't want to mirror, I want to make it a little different size than all the ones that are around it. But it just adds just, I think, such a nice festive little touch. Now this I was gonna make, let's see, I'm gonna cover up some of this black so it doesn't look like a, uh, it just looks to me like a, a dragonfly or a mosquito. So we'll go right over this and leave a little bit showing through. There we go, whoops and kind of gear towards these real empty spots that I left to plop in. If you see a spot that's got a lot of the background showing through, 
and not not a lot of saturation you can add to that and let's see maybe right here and you can go over the black or the orange I just I mean you can do whatever you want this is your relaxing little painting um, I just prefer to add it like its own its own color rather than going over also I forgot I've got to go in and uh, make the little pumpkin faces Let's do a little one here and then you don't have to be real precious with it you know when you start if you're not talking like I am while you're doing this you really kind of get into a zone add this here and they dry this beautiful it's a beautiful coppery gold color and let's see you want to see if you're you know you want to you want to have them kind of spread out nicely not all concentrated on one side let's go like this and maybe do a few on the perimeter I kind of keep these on the smaller side I hate it when I do it right next to that'll make it be bigger and those are going to look like eyeballs. Sometimes I just plop it in the wrong spot. We're going to go a little bigger here. Sometimes you intentionally have to kind of look at it and go, oh, that looks like funny. You know, you make a weird pattern and just kind of either make it bigger or bring your other color back in. Let's see, okay, maybe a little one under here, a little tiny one. And because I'm at a weird angle, it's gonna get bigger. Uh, one in here. And getting close to done. I'm gonna put one more here. And now I think I like the spacing on all of that. I could add, if I wanted to, a little, make this a glittery. I don't want it to be super glittery, but let's kind of put some, some glitter on that bow, like this. And you wanna wiggle it, wiggle it a little. And even go around, add a little water. These do dry out quickly. Just go like this, and we're gonna go like this. And along this side, there we go. Oops, and if you do it that way, you're gonna have to kinda do just a light, little wiggly down there there and the last thing is we take our pen and you can on some of these like this circle got a little wonky uh, on the black ones you can go around and kind of correct your circle fill it in and what i thought was so cute was just little faces in the pumpkin, Ooh, little smile faces. I like smiley pumpkins. All right, leave his little teeth. Cute. And if you want, you can do a little, a little head on him. And then we'll do this big one down here. I don't want all of them to have pumpkin faces. I think I'm just gonna do like maybe three. 
this one will have one too. All right, and I will do a little, make it a little bigger. Looks like a mohawk. <laughs> And the third one will do, this one's directly across from here, so I really don't want to do that. I think I'm going to do it one, two, do I want it down here, up here? They're kind of across from each other. Let's see, I'll do a little one here. And maybe a little one up here. Doesn't have to show completely. Two, three, four, and then we're gonna do some polka dots. I do like, did some polka dots and then just some just plain old lines kind of go to the center here, around, around there, and we'll do it down here. We'll let this whole thing be in the front, bring it to the with these lines there we go and maybe one over here and you can use a thinner pen if you want it doesn't have to be thick like this and there boop and since I did one polka dot, I should do a few other polka dots. Let's see, maybe one down here. And one over here. And that you can play around with it as much as you want you could come over the ribbon with your bring out your shapes with your black pen um i mean you could do stripes in the black if you wanted to or zigzags or you know anything to add a little a little fun but that's it that's um that is my fun pumpkin wreath i hope you liked it if you do do one or do it in different colors i'd love to have you share it and if you haven't liked or subscribed i'd love it if you follow me i'm gonna do some fun fall things i'll come in on it a little bit there and that's it thanks so much have a wonderful day Bye bye